guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another unboxing video. Uh, it's pretty fitting actually, having the selection of incredible football memorabilia behind me because, uh, well basically, each and every piece that you see behind me has been opened in a video on YouTube such as this one, or like this one. So uh, today is going to be no different. But what we have here is, uh, is something something special. This is, uh, this is not something for the wall, but it is in fact something for me to keep on hand to refer to uh, for, for years to come, I'm led to believe. This package is uh, not only from the USPS, the United States Postal Service, it's from my man Rob. It's from a good friend uh, of mine now and a good friend of the channel, Rob Dedrick. You might see him in the live streams. He tunes in fairly frequently and he's been, like I said, a, a, a real supporter of the channel from, from the beginning. So all I can say Rob is uh, a huge thank you. The eagle has landed, I have the package in my hot little hands and we're about to open it. I'm not going to say I don't know what's in it, but I am going to say I'm, I'm pretty damn excited. It's, uh, it's what I'm led to believe is called the 2021 Phil Steele magazine. College football related and uh, it's about time we open it. But before we do, I just want to bring up Rob's Instagram, specifically the Instagram messages, just so I don't forget anything before I open it up. So he sent this on the 18th of July, and the date is the 25th. This arrived about three days ago, so I'm gonna say, let's call it a month. Took a month to get here. Not bad, not bad for these times that we're in, but uh, we've just got a quick, a quick word here. A quick word from uh, our man Rob prior to sending it off. He, uh, he said, this is the only football mag I buy and by far the best. All kinds of info from stadium capacities, field surface records, to this year's forecast. Plus it will help you learn all of the FBS conferences because I think at the time I was a little confused as to how the North Dakota State Bisons had won the national championship when I'd just seen Alabama do the exact same thing in the exact same season. So I thought, how can there be two national champions? He went on to explain the issue somewhat, but not fully. What I'm hoping is that this magazine will bring me closer to understanding, to uh, getting my head around the, the game, the great game of American college football. Guys, we're here. This is it. This is August 25th, Wednesday, August the 25th, and uh, it's about time we open this. So, Rob, once again, thank you. For anyone else out there who does want to send me anything, hit me up on Instagram. I'll give you my address. But for now, let's open this shit. It's like Christmas in August. She's thick. She is thick. And she's absolutely stunning. Look at that. <laughs> Phil Steele's College 2021 Football Preview. The book the experts cannot do without. Believe it or not. 1995. Rob, I'll, uh, I'll pay you back. The most accurate magazine over the last 23 years. 352 pages in all. 352 pages, holy shit. This is incredible. This is amazing. Look at this. References for days. <laughs> References for days. Stats for days. I'm a stats guy. I love my stats. Rob, I now know why you sent this. <laughs> okay, um, I mean, I, I could sit here and, and, and rattle off a few stats for you. Um, I think I might, actually. I think I might. Who is Phil Steele, by the way? Well, there he is now. For those wondering, Mr. Steele, welcome to my 2021 college football preview. This is the 27th edition. Believe it or not, 27 is my lucky number. It just gets better and better. And that means more than a quarter of a century. Last year was a different year for everyone in the country. I was very thankful that college football was played. While that meant very small or zero crowds with schedules being modified weekly and teams playing anywhere from 2 to 12 games, we got through the entire season and a national champ was crowned in the end. Given the outlook of even playing football over the summer, we were truly breath. We were truly blessed just to have games. There were times in which I wondered if we would put out a magazine last year, but we put it out later than usual, sending the last page to the press July 8th. This year, 
With the transfer portal being so active, we went to press a little later than normal on June 15th, but were able to capture the majority of the transfer moves. Appreciate that, Phil. Yeah, cheers, mate. Um, absolute legend, Phil. I am very pleased to report that this year I set a record talking to approximately 110 of the 130 head coaches. I feel the pages are in the best shape they have ever been in due to that factor. It is the fourth straight year we have set a record. I would like to thank each and every one of the coaches who took some of their valuable time to go over my team pages with me. The magazine has come a long way since the 1995 first edition that was black and white. 192 total pages and covered just 86 FBS teams. As I type this, uh, the other magazines are already on the shelves, which means they had to go to press way back in the month of April. I see where you're going here. Or May, as they have been on the shelves for a while. I would like to thank my dad, Hank, who passed away in 1989. He instilled in me a strong work ethic and a deep love for football, which will always be my favourite sport. Also, I want to thank my mother, Mary, who invested many hours and prayers into this business. My daughter, Savannah, spent hours with me picking out the pictures for the pages again this year and even worked on some of the pages the final few weeks of the magazine in the office with me. I am very proud to not only be a Heisman voter, but also a voter on the committee of 15 different awards. This is a great honour, so I invest a lot of time and effort into each award and committee that I am on. I list them in the back of this magazine. He would also like to thank his staff. He would like to thank the managers, the whole operation, the conference coordinators, seven months of effort into producing this magazine, and finally, I would like to thank you, Rob, for purchasing it and uh, sending it to me. So, what we've got here is a treasure trove of stats, information, including, but not limited to, the upcoming 2021 college football season. Rob. You're an absolute legend for sending this. Before we get out of here, uh, I will rattle off Phil's official 2021 top 10 Heisman favorites as of June 15th, 2021. And they are Spencer Rattler, quarterback for Oklahoma, Sam Howell, quarterback for North Carolina, Matt Corral, quarterback for Ole Miss, Keaton Slovis, quarterback for USC, DJ Uagalele, quarterback for Clemson. Bryce Young, running back for Alabama. CJ Troud, quarterback for Ohio State. Derek King, quarterback for Miami. Emory Jones, quarterback for Florida. And last but not least, rounding out Phil's top 10 picks for 2021, Michael Penix. That's Penix with an X. Uh, quarterback for Indiana. And there's a fair few contenders, and there's even more possibilities. Contenders are heavy on proven quarterbacks and running backs who could put up big stats and possibilities are quality players who will put up big stats but aren't likely to play for a national title contender or may play for a contender but could split votes with a teammate. Holy motherfucking shit! I love this magazine already. And actually, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, you can even play along at home. You can pick your favourite team, whatever team that may be, Cut your little page out, stick it on the fridge, and uh, update it each week with the results of the game, if you are a die-hard fan, as I'm sure many people buying this magazine would be. Guys, uh, what, uh, what an incredible magazine, what an incredible gift from an incredible subscriber in Rob. So Rob, thank you once again, mate. I mean, what, what an incredible gift, man. Um, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You've absolutely made my day. And yeah, I'll, I'll certainly be giving this a, a good read. College football begins again for this season, next week. Very exciting. Fitting, very fitting that we've opened this a week before the college football season starts. So mate, Rob, once again, thank you so much. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned, there's plenty more content to come. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.